Bonjour à tous, francophiles and French food lover alike, and welcome back to another episode on the French Cooking Academy. Today, we're looking at another seafood dish. It's actually a starter or eventually a side dish. And I would dedicate that recipe for the people that live usually by the sea because we can find fresh mussels. Mussels is what we're going to be using today. So we've seen how to make the mariniere mussel, and we're going to build on that to go one step further and create stuffed mussels. Now it's not a dish that you may have heard very frequently uh, and even in France it's kind of been forgotten so I'm going to be reviving again that recipe today because it's a really delicious uh, you know, thing to eat. So what is a stuffed mussel? In France it's a very simple version. It's a pre-cooked mussel in the marinier style that is coated with a burgundy butter. Now that burgundy butter is also called the snail butter. There's no snail into it only because it is the butter that is used when we make snails. Now talking about snails guys, I have to say that it has been requested and very shortly I'm gonna make a video on how to make these beautiful snails. So stay tuned. Let's get started and make our stuffed mussel recipe. So actually stuffed mussel with burgundy butter. This is the name of the recipe of the day. Now the most important uh, lesson here, it's not about cooking mussel, it's about how to make a real burgundy butter. And this is very important, it's an appellation in front and you can use that butter with all kinds of preparation, actually snails, all kinds of seashells, clams, uh, even uh, scallops if you want it, oysters and even tomatoes in some case. This is the important bit. You need soft butter, 125 grams, around 10 grams of garlic, 20 grams of shallots, 20 grams of parsley and some breadcrumbs. Now for the garlic guys I just wanted to let you know that you need to remove, I'm just showing it here, you have to remove the germ in the garlic. This is extremely bitter and a lot of time people add these in the preparation and end up with a bitter mix and they say oh that recipe doesn't work it's because you leave this. Remove the germ that's bad you never use that germ okay. But for the rest mussels here one bag one kilo 40 grams of shallots some white wine and that's all you need. Now that our preparation is done, we're gonna start by making our burgundy butter. Now the first thing you need is the 125 gram of soft butter. Now when I say soft, I mean this. You see? You can work it with your fork. So I'm gonna put it in there. And with your spoon, I'm always using, by the way, one of these uh, strong, short wooden spoons because they're nice, you know, you can really work uh, your butter and you can mix things pretty well, okay? So you start by putting your butter in and then from there I'm gonna add my mix. So I've put in the blender everything, the parsley, the garlic and the shallots, okay? Everything is here. Of course, it's not because it's a butter that you don't season, okay? So like everything, it needs some taste, so salt and some cracked pepper or black pepper, or white pepper, whatever you want. When this is done, this is what you get. You're gonna work your butter, it's nothing super amazing. And you're gonna gently work your butter until all of the herbs are well incorporated. When you've mixed your butter, this is what you get. Look at that. It's a beurre pomade, a soft butter. Look at this color. It's not too green, it's not too yellow. It's well blended with the herbs and it's seasoned properly. Now don't be shy to taste your butter to make sure it's to your liking. Huh? Enough salt, enough pepper, very important. When you're here, you're gonna take one third of your breadcrumbs and just mix them into your butter. Same process. And that's it. My butter is ready and I'm now going to reserve it on the side while I make my mussels. Alright, our butter is ready and now we can just cook our mussel. You take a tablespoon of unsalted butter, about 40 grams of shallots and you're going to let them sweat in your butter for like a minute or two on low heat. After a few minutes, your shallots are nice and infused in the butter. You don't want any coloration 
And if you want to use onions, you can. The flavor won't be the same. When this is done, put all of your muscle in. Give it a stir. Okay. Make sure everything is nicely coated with the shallots. You take your wine. It's a little bit of wine. Reason for that, we are steaming the mussels, right? When this is done, you put a lid on, put it on a high heat, and you're gonna cook them for five to six minutes. Six minutes later, it's done. Your mussels are cooked. You're gonna take them out, put them in a new container to let them cool down on the side. Okay, so now we're not ready to dress up our mussel. I've got my little workstation here. I've chosen some mussels on the side. And this is what we're going to do. You take a selection of mussels that are well, uh, that stayed in the shell. You remove the top shell. Okay, and you discard it. And you do this for all of your mussels. Okay. Second step, take a spatula like that. Take a bit of your snail butter or burgundy butter. And you're going to simply coat the inside of your mussel with some butter. So I'm not a professional at this, but basically try to cut it nicely. Okay, and this is roughly what you get. When you're done, you put them all on the container. So this is what I've done. Not the best work, but it starts to look pretty appetizing, uh, guys, I have to say. And I have to say also that it's going to be quite buttery, but it looks... Uh, really quite delicious. Last step, you take actually the rest of your breadcrumbs, because there's always a step in French cooking, it's always a last step, and you basically take a little pinch and you coat the top of each mussel with breadcrumbs. We're finally ready to cook our mussel. So this is what I've done. When you cook mussel like this, because they're very unstable, uh, you have to use the plate in which you're going to serve your mussel and put that straight under the grill. So these are not cooked, they're actually just grilled. Okay, so I've put a bit of rock salt, you see? And what this is going to do is going to allow me to basically put the shells without having them, you know, moving around and falling and stuff like that. And we're going to put this under the grill until the butter melts and gets nice and foamy. And it's done once again. We've done a new recipe and this is our stuffed mussels with burgundy or snail butter. So as you can see, I've left them nice, maybe a little bit too much on the side, but it's nice and crusty and nice colors. I've added a little bit of lemon and that salt technique works really well. Now, uh, it's really hot. I'm going to try to <laughs> try one. And I'm just gonna add a squeeze of lemon, if I can, in one of those. Okay. Ooh. So this is how it looks like. Okay. In a plate. And... Mmm. That's no, really nice, huh? It's very delicate. The mussels are still not chewy or overcooked or anything like that. And it's not overpowering. I was expecting too much garlic or something, but actually it's quite nice. You got nice, uh, the herbs mixed with the little bit of butter, but it really doesn't taste buttery at all. That's quite amazing. But have a go guys. This is my take on the, uh, these mussels. Hope you enjoyed the video and you can learn something today. And if you can join me for the next videos, maybe it might be the snail coming up. Okay guys, as always, please comment, subscribe and like the video if you can and I see you next time. Bye bye!